BK, let's, uh, let, let, let's change tack, you know, for a bit by talking about mm. the PDP campaign council where the party has named 326 campaign council members with Governor Aminu uh, Tambowal as a DG and Governor Odom Emano as the chairman of the campaign council. And then Governor Wiki, a member of the team, or let me say one of the members of the team. It does look like the party is trying to move on from the direction, uh, distraction, the internal crisis may be causing it, yeah? Talking about the PDP, there is no way the party can wait forever. The elections are um, inching closer and closer. With Among them. adverts uh, of, their, uh, of their preferred candidates. So we, we PDP is conscious of that, that look, time is not on his hands. You have a formidable opponent in the APC. How much longer can you continue to waste time to constitute your presidential campaign council? So at some point, the party has to move on. And that is, the, that is what we have seen. They've done a good thing by accommodating all the governors of the party as members of the campaign council, and they've given them responsibilities. Uh, Yison Wike, who is still hungry uh, with them, is also part of the campaign uh, council. The governor for your state is also um, a member of the campaign council in charge of the South. So you can see one of the very close allies of Wike has been made a member of the campaign council in charge of uh, Southern Nigeria. So you can see that they, they are doing their best to not leave anyone behind. One of the issues that damage Wiki's agitation is the law. Chapter 6, Section 45, uh, Subsection 2 of the PDP Constitution says, when the national chairman resigns or is removed, he shall hand over to the deputy national chairman from his region or his part of the country, who shall, without prejudice to Section 47, conclude his tenure. So if you resigns, a Nottana will still take over. This is what the constitution of the PDP says. I talked about this last week that if Wike is insisting that IU has to go, yes, I agree that IU as national chairman did not cover himself in glory. He did not behave like an even handed national chairman, a situation in which you say publicly that Tambual was the hero of the convention. After you gave Tambua the opportunity to speak, to come back and speak to the, um, uh, to the delegates in clear contravention of the the policies, uh, the guidelines, then you have shown yourself to be a, a biased national chairman. And this is the source of wicked anger. People saying that, oh, it's because he lost the election, it's a, it's a sore loser and all that. They have to put themselves in his shoes. You have just lost an election, and here was the national chairman calling the person who stepped down at the last minute. Somebody should have stepped down at the time when he made his first remarks, when he was appealing for votes, you allowed him to come back, address the voters again, and then step down. You have already breached protocol. You, you breached procedures to allow Tambua to resign, I mean, to step down. Now, having stood down, you still went and told Tambua, you are recorded as telling Tambua that he was the hero of the uh, convention. How do you expect Wiki to take that? Wiki would then see everything as something planned between all of you. So you cannot be comfortable uh, with 
with that kind of chairman. So the chairman brought this whole crisis upon himself because he didn't behave in a way uh, that is dignifying. If you are a chairman of a party, you have to be fair to everyone. Some of Ayu's conduct clearly showed that he was not objective, he was not fair to, to Wiki especially. Because even if you harbor such thoughts that Tambua uh, was the hero of the convention, you shouldn't say it in public with cameramen in front of you. Because Wiki will see it and then uh, he will respond uh, appropriately. So we can see him now responding negatively to, to what he had the chairman say. But as I said uh, last week, this is not, this looks like a lost battle. Telling him to step down only to be replaced by a fellow Northerner defeats the, um, the balance, the regional balance that Wiki and his uh, um, friends are asking for. Because the law says when he's removed or he steps aside, he shall be replaced by the deputy national chairman, North. So Atiku is right in saying that, look, the chairmanship can only move from North to South through another convention of the party where that decision can be taken. The highest decision-making organ of both the APC and the, PD, uh, and the PDP is the National Convention. So is the PDP ready to do a National Convention with just about uh, uh, five months of the election? I don't think that uh, that is something that they want to do. So. They have to keep appealing to Eason Wiki and do their best to 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 carry him along, uh, make him feel wanted, um, and apologize for for what they've done to him, right. uh, for for which he remains bitter. Right. Well, that's that's just the win point in my view. Um, Fabian Akaze says the PDP should have appointed Wiki as the head of the campaign council. They need him more than ever as he is the most influential politician in the party. Well, it, it remains to be seen what shape the September the 28th inauguration of the committee members will take. Maybe Governor Wiki and other aggrieved party members would, you know, attend the inauguration of the, you know, talking about what would attend the inauguration. Well, let's mm -hmm. move on to... The, the, what, before, before I go on to the other one, there are some of them who are bitter. There are some of them who are bitter, who believe that their party let them down, that if an APC with far less southern governors yeah. can go ahead to say, okay, let power shift yeah. to the south, the PDP should have done better. But the greed for power among some of its leaders ensured that um the the they, they still kept the ticket the presidential ticket of the party in the in the north many feel betrayed mm. and some of them who are fighting at this time they are they they, they feel betrayed by their party and they are wondering well, how can we have so many governors from southern nigeria yet our party didn't think that power should shift to the south it is apc that with a preponderance of northern governors that ultimately decided to, to, to do that. So uh, this is the reason some of them are protesting, frankly. Makes sense.